Well, hello one and all, and welcome to another installment of Etika Battles. Uh, I'm glad to have a little bit of a fan base now. I've uploaded about three videos in one day, so that's kind of a lot of work, you know. Anyways, um, I have another Wi-Fi battle for you all. I met this guy in the Serbi chat room. He's very cool. He wanted to do an alliance. Uh, I'm all for that. He had a very interesting team. Um, anyway, his name is John, as you can see. And um, this was actually a very interesting match, but beforehand... I needed to mess with the colors. Do you see this? I have always wanted to do this ever since I started watching Wi-Fi battles myself. Anyways, onto the match. Now, John, he had a Tyranitar lead, which was um pretty regular. Anyway, um, so I go into Bistro, of course. Now I'm thinking he's gonna switch. Now I'm thinking there's no way he's gonna stay in because I'm faster than him. You know, I have the Earthquake, so I go for the Rock Climb, thinking he'll switch, but he didn't switch. So I'm like, okay, cool. So. I know he's probably going to go for a really, really powerful move. And oh, it's a stone edge. So, I get hit in the face with that. But Bistro was able to take it a little bit. So now, um, I just go for the Earthquake since I see he's not going to switch out. So the Earthquake, it, it finishes him off. So that's it for Tyranitar for now. However, with the team that he has, he has an Aaron, a level 1 Aaron on his team. And the level 1 Aaron is going to be the biggest threat of the team. And in order to fight it, I need someone alive who can take the Sandstorm. So the characters that I'm playing safe with in this match are Virgo and also Bermuda because they both have immunity to the sand and you're going to see why later on. But keep your eye on Virgo and Bermuda. I don't let them die at any point in the match. Well, you'll see later on who dies. But yeah, so Virgo is in critical zone now. I thought that he would have switched to his Hydra Gun because that's what he had on the team. He didn't switch. So Amber Pomp took the Ice Beam. He, he died. Well, anyways, now my show comes in. Now, of course, I'm not letting Virgo get hit by that, so I had to sacrifice Madre. I didn't want to sacrifice anybody, but it had to be done. So, the fake out comes, Madre takes it, and I mean, there's no way I'm faster. I was thinking maybe I could go for the Sucker Punch, but, you know, it wouldn't have done anything anyway. So, I just took the high jump kick, and that was it. You know, there was no way I was surviving that. So, Madre had to go, but the sacrifice was well worth it, because I need to make sure I can switch to somebody that's faster than my Shao. Now, here comes Beastro with the Zen Headbutt. Now that is totally unexpected. I bet a lot of people don't even know it can learn Zen Headbutt. But it's very useful, especially against fighting types who think that they're stronger than you and that you're slower than them. <laughs> Anyways, Sandstorm does its toll and Bistro, even though I didn't want to let her go, I had to let him go. <laughs> anyway, so Winter comes out and here comes this deadly Aaron. Now it's Aaron, if he's fighting my team, then basically if I don't have anybody who can resist Sand, then it's a problem. So. Um, he withdraws because he knows that people who resist sand are bad news. So he goes into Hydra Gun. I knew he would go into Hydra Gun, so I hit him with the Ice Beam. I mean, um, finally, my prediction came off correctly. Because um, I remembered his teammates, so I was trying to predict who will he switch into when. And that was a good guess on my part. Now, I forgot he had the Metagross, so I'm like, okay. There's no way I'm letting Virgo die to this because, like I said, I need Virgo alive. She resists the sand, and she'll be able to kill the Aaron. Anyways, so... He goes for the Earthquake, I knew it wouldn't affect me. I go for the Calm Mind. Now, here's where the boosting begins. Now, if you all remember from the last match I had, Bermuda kind of was, uh... But this match, it actually takes a hit, so I'm really impressed by that. So anyways, Bermuda, um, she's healing up. And, um, I get the Citrus Berry boost, and then I go for the Air Slash. Do I get the Hacks? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I get the Hacks, beautiful. Anyways, so um, I go for it again, I try to hack my ass off, and instead I get hacked. So the Ice Punch comes in, there's no way in hell I'm surviving that. And now all I have is uh, Iced Out Tiki. So that's it. Tiki dies, then I send it the Almighty Lucifer, the MVP of many matches. So, it takes the Hammer Arm. You guys know what's coming up next, I don't even have to tell you. <laughs> oh yes. So, uh, I love how nobody uses Stealth Rock anymore. So, Focus Sash, I hold on, and then I'm able to use the Counter. Now, I, I didn't know whether to use the heat wave or the counter, but oh well, I just used the counter because I knew I would hit him. So yeah, he dies from the counter, that's it, but I also died from the sandstorm. So Lucifer, my, my old girl Lucifer had to go. But anyways, I sent in my Virgo. Now he's ready to roll. So now this Aaron, it's time, it's time to give him some medicine. So boom, earth power right in the face. Aaron gets knocked down to the focus sash. The thing is, he's holding a shell bell, so he was going to use the whole Endeavor to get me to 1 HP with his sturdy ability and then let the sand kill me from that turn. But I resisted so he would be able to do that this time. You see? That's why I had to make sure that Virgo stayed alive. Uh, anyways, 
it was a great match um please comment rate and subscribe uh, it really helps you know i mean a lot of people say it just to say it but it really helps you know i mean i want to get these videos known and i apologize about the quality of the last video it was kind of crappy but i mean um, i was experimenting so i'm trying new effects and stuff but let me know what you think enjoy take care happy easter and peace enjoy and whatever